Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a special temple called Chennakesava Temple in Belu. This temple is known for many strange carvings and engineering feats. And the first thing that strikes you is this beautiful giant tower. Now, if you zoom in at the top, the two ends are actually designed to look like the horns of a cow. And they say this is why they call this tower Gopro. The word go means cow in Sanskrit language. Now, if you climb this tower and stand on this tower, and if you look at the temple, you can see that it is designed in a very peculiar way. I don't think there is a word to explain the shape of this main structure. It's very odd, and it's also not evenly shaped because the back has another unique flower-shaped design. There are 32 corners in this temple, and you can see that this entire temple is built on a raised platform that has three different entrances. There is a very strange pattern on the top, like an insect with six legs. That marks the position of the main statue. In other words, Exactly underneath that marking, you will find the nine foot tall statue of Chennakesava inside the main chamber. Right next to it, you can see another small structure designed with the same shape as the main structure. From the top view, they look identical in shape. What is it? When you look at it from the ground, you realize that it was first built as a smaller, primitive model before the main structure was built. Archaeologists confirm that yes, it was built as a model, and this is why this structure does not have much carvings on its walls. And the main structure is completely adorned with carvings. There are more than 10,000 carvings found on the structure. Mainstream archaeologists claim that it took more than a hundred years to complete this temple and more than a thousand people worked on it at any given time. And even though this temple is 900 years old, it is still a fully functional and active temple, meaning that Hindu rituals are performed here every day. But even though this is a Hindu temple, there is a very strange secret hiding at the very entrance. Just above the entrance is a brilliant carving with plenty of Hindu gods. There are 10 small carvings showing 10 avatars of Lord Vishnu. However, if you look at the ninth avatar, this is Lord Buddha. And this is very surprising because today we think Buddhism is a completely separate religion from Hinduism. However, we can see that 900 years ago, Buddha was incorporated into this Hindu temple and Buddha was considered as one of the avatars of Lord Vishnu. The temple not only shows gods, but also shows how ancient human beings lived. Here, we can see that ancient people must have had balconies or decks in their houses. The carvings clearly show multi-storied buildings with every floor having a balcony where you can sit out and relax, just like what we do today. There are some carvings which have been deliberately destroyed for unknown reasons. You can see this figure has gone through some considerable destruction as though someone took a hammer and kept pounding on the carving. We can see huge dents all over the carving. Who is he and why was he destroyed? He is Arjuna, a master archer, and he's shooting on a revolving target that is shaped like a fish while looking at its reflection on a bowl of oil on the ground. You can see a similar statue in other temples, so there's no doubt that this is Arjuna. Locals say that originally the string on his bow produced seven musical notes when tapped on. 
It sounds fascinating to imagine a stone string that can produce various notes. We cannot confirm this, but locals say that it was destroyed because people kept hitting on this carving with smaller stones, which is why everything got destroyed and it has severe dents. Some argue that it was destroyed because it had other strange details. The Chenna case of a temple is known for its strange carvings. Here, you can see an ape-like figure holding a telescope to his eye and looking at a distance. Did telescope exist in ancient times? Here's another statue that has raised a lot of questions. What bird is this? It looks like a parrot, but it has a very long tail. Yes, it is a macaw, but experts confirm that macaws were originally found only in the Americas and the Caribbean, far away from India. Historians claim that macaws were only recently brought to India in the last few centuries. Yet, how was it carved 900 years ago in this temple? Here's another strange carving. On one side, we can see a god called Vaisravana. He's the original gold digger. No, not in the modern sense of the word. He was actually digging for gold and precious gems from the earth. He is usually shown with his long boring tool that goes into the earth. On the other side, there is another god who's delivering the gathered gold nuggets to the goddess in the center. The center figure is called Swarnabhairavi, one in charge of blessing people with gold and precious stones. What is fascinating here is that these two figures are wearing protective helmets, just like today's miners. At least we are able to understand some of the carvings, but look at this one. It looks human, but has two giant wings and is shown with multiple tools and weapons. This is remarkably similar to ancient Sumerian and Mesopotamian carvings, where the gods are shown with wings and weapons. But there are stranger carvings. These three figures are doing some weird activity. The first guy is holding something on his face. It looks like a flashlight, or maybe he's blowing a bugle. The second guy is holding a baby or a monkey and is also holding something else in his hands. The third guy is holding a barrel in one hand and another unidentified object in his other hand. All of them are balancing themselves on some strange platform. And a giant bird is watching them with a curious expression. Who can explain this? The carvings are not only strange, but also show advanced designs like this chain. It looks like a real chain with multiple links, but it is made of a single stone. These 14 links look insanely realistic, making it look like a real metal chain. There are thousands of fascinating carvings of gods. Uh, there are skeleton-like figures doing a variety of strange activities. There are battle scenes from ancient Indian epics and plenty of animals. There are more than 10,000 carvings here. This is why this temple is called Kala Sagara, meaning an ocean of art. I hope you visit this temple one day and enjoy its beauty. I am Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.